Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Um, this week I want to share some food that I'm eating. I haven't been sharing uh, so, so much and I also wanted it to be a vlog so I want to include it in the vlog. It's not going to be like a full week, it's just going to be a few days. Because then I go to the mountains and I'll film another vlog there. Um, I'm having the lunch today and this is my first meal of the day. I'm having some salad with avocado and then I have some leftover lasagna from this weekend which was with spinach vegan so the lasagna earlier had spinach vegan ricotta and pumpkin I got cut off because my camera ran out of battery I had some tea and chocolate after lunch as well um I really need to cut my hair it's grown so much and now I'm having some juice this is carrot, ginger, and orange juice. Mmm, so nice. from a walk and it was just so sunny and beautiful today and I made some dinner I also had some snacks but I didn't share that I had some ice cream earlier today and some crackers with vegan cheese avocado and sun-dried tomato paste not the most healthy day but I guess I'm just I've just been lacking of sleep lately and well I don't guess I know and when I my body is fatigued it craves just more unhealthy food and also I've been extremely busy so I don't have like hours every day to just cook and prepare something so I've been making like quicker stuff to make which is fine too so tonight I made some pasta and I like to have lettuce with my pasta. Usually I would put the salad in another bowl, but I didn't want to have to mix tons of dishes. So it's super easy. It's just lettuce and then spaghetti. And in the spaghetti sauce, it's tomatoes, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, eggplants, and just some avocado, uh, nutritional yeast. And this is um, basil tofu. That's gonna be my dinner. It's getting spring here. It's so warm these days, especially in the afternoons. And it's blue sky, gorgeous weather. Um, I think that I'm gonna go on a bike ride later today with my mom. Or a run, but bike ride would be nice. I do have to charge the batteries though. work, therapy, 
Therapy. Phone call with Andrea for the collection. Lunch. Um, more work this afternoon. Bike ride with mom. And tonight, I don't have anything, which is nice. Ugh. I've been feeling a little frustrated lately because I've been wanting to anticipate some things with work and I'm not being able to because, well, I've been able to anticipate other things because of that, but like the things I wanted to get done, I wasn't able to get them done because with COVID, the parcels are taking months to arrive and I wouldn't only take months, when I say months I'm not even kidding like all the work that I was supposed to do in March got postponed to April and I cannot postpone everything that's in April and May and then like so like basically I have like two months of work to do in, in one month right now and and I'm not able to work on it because I don't receive parcels it's really driving me insane It's so hard to plan and like, it's so unpredictable. I also have a few trips planned this spring season and I, I don't want to be working full time when I'm on those trips and I won't be able to anyways, so I need to work on it now. So yeah, it's just been a little bit stressful, I have to say. Okay, I had some celery juice. Now I'm making some matcha and I'm gonna go work. I have been feeling so stressed and overwhelmed today. Um, I had a great night of sleep, which was really needed, but oh my God, like I have so much to do and yeah, it's just a lot, and a lot of it is out of my control, and this is, ugh, anxiety really kicked in. Um, I had therapy, which did help me get those things, like, out, um, and I've been really productive, or, like, as much as I possibly could, uh, which is good, and I've been, like, fast at, like, getting things done since the session so that's really good um, I think that the more I take off things my to-do list the more relaxed I feel about it all so I'm feeling a little bit reassured right now that like I was able to accomplish a few tasks in like two hours which is really good um, I'm taking a lunch break now it's 1 p.m. I haven't had any breakfast um, I'm feeling really tired Ugh. and I'm cold although it's warm today I don't know it's I need some rest um I'm just heating up some of the spaghetti from last night um I like to cook enough food for more than one meal when I cook like when I cook something that can be heated up these days like I just cook a little bit more so that I have enough for lunch the next day or another dinner which is really convenient. And I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this with um, some of this vegan Greek cheese, which is really good. It's just gonna be really simple. I'm also running out of olive oil. And I'm drinking some kombucha that I made, which tastes really interesting, very lemony, very nice. I like it a lot.
I'm going on a bike ride. Um, I had a very productive day, which I'm so happy I had because I felt very overwhelmed and stressed out and like getting things done and like taking things off my to-do list really relaxes me and really makes me feel like I'm moving forward. Um, so it was great. I'm really happy about today, although it did start in almost an anxiety attack. Um, but yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. So I'm going on a ride with my mom and a friend of mine. And this is my funny, well funny, it looks good. It's my funny bike outfit. There you go. Um, a lot of the things that I wear to cycle um, are from Scott, so like, the jersey, the shorts are from Scott. Uh, I also like this brand a lot uh, called Void, which is from Denmark, I think, uh, or Sweden. I think Denmark, which I love it a lot. Um, my shoes are the Shimano ones with the boa click click. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And the glasses are from Scott and the helmet is from Pock. Um, I have enough like bike stuff so I'm not buying anything new at the moment um, but if I will in the future I will look into more like sustainable and eco-friendly brands I know some exist there isn't a lot of choice but a few brands are doing some cool things so that's it I also need to grab my batteries because my bike won't change the speed if I don't put this in. Okay, go. Came back from the bike ride. You can see I still have my helmet thingy on my forehead. Um, and I just took a shower and I prepped dinner. So let me show you what I made. I'm not, I didn't show you how I made it, but it's super easy and simple. So this is brown rice, which I cooked in the rice cooker. Um, here is some vegan yogurt. This one has with lupin, I think. I hope that's what it's called in English. It's some sort of like bean and like soy, for example. And then this is some red curry with coconut milk and uh, purple cabbage, sweet potatoes, mushroom, and it's just, yeah, red curry paste, coconut milk, um, sesame oil, soy sauce, and some kefir lime leaves. And then I just topped it off with some sesame seeds. I normally never put cabbage in my curry, but I had so much purple cabbage and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. Mm, let's try and make put it in a curry. It makes the whole curry purple, but it tastes really, really nice. It's just very soft. Um, but if you have any recipes with cabbage that you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Because sometimes I don't have inspiration with cabbage. Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Um, so, uh, it's what, 10, 11 a.m. and I'm craving a smoothie, so I'm gonna make a smoothie right now. And then have lunch later. My kitchen's a mess. I've seen a lot of parcels this week. All right, let's make some smoothies, shall we? Smoothie should I make? Let me figure this out. So, we're gonna do one frozen banana. Uh, 
tablespoon of peanut butter. And some coconut milk. It's not a thick one, it's more like a oat milk but with coconut. It's really nice. Alright, let's get mixing. Breakfast is served. So, um, for lunch today, I had a plate of salad with some endives and this great vegan cheese and a tahini dressing that I had pre-made and that I made myself a few days ago. And for dinner tonight, I'm just gonna heat up the curry from yesterday um, along with the brown rice. And I just marinated some tofu and sesame oil, peanut butter, uh, soy sauce and sesame seeds which I'm gonna uh, fry up right now in some sesame oil and we're gonna have this with well I'm gonna have it with avocado Tanya is eating with me tonight she doesn't like avocado and probably gonna put some yogurt on it as well because this was really good yesterday We're having a little appetizer because Tanya never tried the Greek vegan cheese. So, and she loves it. And kombucha. <laughs> also, last night I had this like purple curry thingy, uh, which was delicious. And I was thinking like, as I'm recording this video, I'm like, it's actually really great to record like what I eat in a day over a few days. So you have kind of more like a broader idea of what I eat. Although it does also change from week to week. Um, but also there's one thing, so you have maybe a broader idea. I haven't shared really snacks and I did snack a lot. So I will work on that and share that more uh, in the next video or also today if I do have a snack I'll try and show you and then also um, I didn't show you how much I actually ate last night I showed you what I ate but like I had two plates full like the one I showed you so yeah those are also things to think about or maybe that I should include and be more specific for you have to have a better idea before like you go in the comments and comment whatever I'm eating that it's not enough or it's not enough this and not enough that so <laughs> yeah okay this is very zoomed in I don't know my hair is like playing funky today let's see I have bangs again apparently I'm gonna cut it again in a month not even a month I'm gonna cut it soon so that's it for this week's vlog it was more um food oriented more like a longer what i eat in a day over a few couple days um i hope you guys enjoyed it
If you're interested in some of my go-to recipes and some recipes that I like to make or different variation, you can go to my blog. I have a few recipes on there and I like to add more whenever I have the time. Um, <clears throat> I will put a link down below. Um, for those of you who don't know what Squarespace is, it's a platform that I've been using for the last year to create my own website. It's amazing if you want to create uh, a blog or an online store. And if this has been on your mind, you can go to squarespace.com and get a free trial and see if you like it as much as I do and I have been enjoying working with it um, for the last year and a half. After the free trial has passed, if you're super happy with the service, you can go to squarespace.com slash With that link, you'll get 10% off of your domain or website. Uh, on your first order with Squarespace and um, yeah I really hope you guys enjoy it and try it out as well um, there's so many different templates and it's just really easy to change like my blog has changed over the last year and a half quite a bit and I've tweaked a few things and it's just really easy to add more content to it um, change the layout uh, add new sections and things like that. So if you're like a bit of a beginner like I am with like web design things, um, Squarespace is awesome for that because it just makes everything so much easier. Um, I will put a link down below as well with all the information and yeah, my blog as well where you can find some nice vegan recipes on there and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.